Hey y'all, welcome back. Last week we harvested the potatoes out of the in-ground potato patch. This morning we're gonna harvest these potatoes in the container garden. Honestly, these things could probably go a little bit longer, but I'm tired of looking at them. They're starting to fall over, so we're gonna go ahead and get them out of the ground so we can move on with our lives. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment, let us know how your gardens are doing, how your potatoes are doing, and if you're growing anything interesting. It's a gorgeous day here in Central Arkansas. It's cool for this time of year. And we're gonna do this while the sun is still kind of below the tree line. Theoretically, these things are gonna be easier to harvest than the in-ground garden. Why? Let's see if we're right. I'm gonna harvest some. Okay. We're gonna work together and harvest some. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Got this one. See it? We're gonna be super careful, ladies, because we don't know what's underneath these. We really hate to grab a snake. Some potatoes. You found a potato? Yeah. Nice. Both of us. Good job, y'all. Not as a seed potato. Yeah, throw those in the woods. Over them. Oh. Ooh. I'm not gonna kill it, it's not doing anything to us. It's just out here living its best life in the potatoes. Dead one down. Let's see what we got. So our bucket is about maybe a third, quarter to a third of the way full. This one actually has um, zip ties. We zip tied it closed. So we're just going to pick up the bed and move it up there. the most dirt of all three oh, and it's yeah. really showing oh, yeah as, the best uh, thing the, about the potatoes. number of potatoes that we're getting i found a potato you found a potato yeah. good job so do you guys garden with your little people how do you uh how do you keep them busy do you let them help yeah and what's their favorite part of gardening my favorite part of gar gardening what's your favorite part of gardening emma um, uh, I'm both harvesting, harvesting, and smelling the zinnia. And my, my favorite part of, of the harvesting is harvesting. I got it. The, the, yeah. the Can I have you use my shovel with this? <laughs> Open up your yoga now. Let's wait and do that in a minute. Let's get all these plants out first. And then we'll flip and use the shovel.
Mama, tell us about the fairy garden. So we so we have some gazanias that bloomed right here. Here's a gazania, and so and so here's our zinnia that bloomed. It looks it looks like so the others are gonna follow it soon. Okay. Uh uh. Also, we think this is black-eyed Susan. I don't know. I think it's black-eyed Susan. Yeah, it's black-eyed Susan. Um, um, and, and we have another bloom on a rose. That is black-eyed Susan. Okay. We and have. What's the orange one in the middle? The orange one in the middle. In the big, the big stump. In the big stump, nasturtium. I see that. So, it, do we remember? Is that a pumpkin or is that a squash? I tried to catch squash. Okay, so that is the squash. Potato. You lost your pet potato? Actually, I think we have plenty. Uh, actually, no. That that is a pumpkin. I think that's the pumpkin. That's the long pie pumpkin. And then we have more blooms getting ready. All right. So the last time we did a garden tour, we weren't sure what a peanut looks like. This is what a peanut looks like. So and we have. Trees in here, they're nitrogen fixers. They are nitrogen fixers. We have, um, well, the peanuts are also nitrogen fixers. Oh. So we have quite a few of them growing now. So, um, so the peanuts are nitrogen, nitrogen fixing their cells? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that means this bed will be really good for something next year. Is that one of those yellow tomatoes? Oh, it might be, girls. Yeah, two. Nice. You think it's ready to eat? Yes. You want to eat it? Uh huh. All right. Can I try it? Please. We'll wipe it off good. Okay, you take a bite and give her the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Eating our first tomato. So good. Is it a yellow one? Does it taste right? Nice. Mm -hmm. The beans. Uh, so I thought you were climbing. Would it, would it be in June or July? Um, usually it's July before we get them, but. This year they're being oh, overachievers. That one ready too. Which one? That one down there. Yeah, it really Oh yeah. I'll go grab it. It does. I don't know what kind of tomato that is. So yep. let's try it. Okay. Well, that that is a volunteer tomato. That is a volunteer tomato, but I don't know what kind. No. I think it's a No. No. What's wrong no. with it? Oh, you know how well what? it cracked a little bit. I think, I think this was a tropical sunset and because the tropical sunsets are hybrids, they don't come back through. One tastes okay. I see, it's a little baby cucumber, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. So that means, that means our pollinators have been out here doing their jobs. Lots of blooms. Oh, there's another baby cucumber. It won't be too long, probably a week. We'll be getting cucumbers. Just like grandma. So this, let's just do a let's just do a first few weeks of the garden review. So this was our trellis that we put up that we built in the um, modular tomato cages video. And I am really liking it. I think it's working really well. Then this teepee here, this is um, lemon cucumbers. 18.4 okay so we got 18.4 pounds of potatoes today out of the container beds we had 25 from the in-ground bed honestly we could have done better we really could have if we had held them up better if we had let them go a few more few more weeks um but really i'm excited i'm happy with that number because like i said in the last video we didn't put any effort into it. We haven't even watered these potatoes once. It has been a wet spring and they've just been easy. So what we'll end up doing with these is the same thing we did with the other ones. We will put them in a dark place, kind of lay them out flat so that they can cure. And that way they'll store a little bit for a lot of them, Some, uh, probably the smaller ones. What I'm going to do is I will cook them a little bit, probably mash them and put them in the freeze dryer. We did that last year and turned them into mashed potatoes at, like, I think it was like Thanksgiving. It was really good and it worked out really well. They had a great flavor still. It's a good way for me to preserve them because I don't 
I'm still afraid of pressure canning. Maybe you guys can, can help me get over that hump. If you pressure can, let me know how it goes for you so that I can, I can maybe get enough courage to do that myself. Because that, that would be another way to preserve potatoes would be pressure canning. Um, all in all, it's a good harvest, good potato year. And we might actually put some more in the ground and get some more in the fall. So, as always, thanks for watching.